When gyms close, many people are trying to navigate the unfamiliar world of at home workouts. But after a few weeks, you may be looking for a new routine or just some new motivation. I had a training session this morning with personal trainer Trey Thomas, who created a workout just for our four to five viewers. Take a look. For this workout, you'll need a few household items, water bottles, laundry detergent, or gallons of water or milk, a broom, a towel, and a backpack filled with a few heavy books. Trainer Trey Thomas says it's not the equipment that matters. I think we get so caught up as passing by that same machine or, or, or going through with our same path every single day, we kind of lose sight about what working out really is about. First thing we're gonna do is, uh, it's very important that you warm up, so we're gonna do a functional warm. -up. So grab your broom. So we do a back lunge with the raise here, big stretch, and then switch legs. Just don't pull too hard. Nice. Oh, broke the flipper. Next up, inchworms to a push up. So we're gonna go straight down with the arms, walk out to a push up position. We're gonna perform a push up. We're gonna come up, we're gonna walk back in, we're gonna stand up just like that. Now the workout begins. So ready to get into the workout? Even though I was already sweating. First thing you want to do, all you need is a bottle of water. Place the bottle under your chest and get in a push-up position. I'm going to start on my right side first. I'm going down, down, up, up. Grab my bottle, bring it down flat, put it back in place. Next, grab your towel and come into a high plank position. I'm going to put one toe on the towel, okay? So as I'm here holding a prone position, I want to raise my leg out to the side as high as I can get it and then back down. Thomas says this is another great exercise for your upper body, hip flexors, and core. Now grab your heavier weights. So what Maddie's going to do is, you got the detergent? There you yeah. go. And make sure you see me check my water and make sure it's screwed on real tight. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stand here, shoulder width apart. Always check the feet. I'm going to do a full squat, stand up, and curl. Thomas Side. says it's not about how much time you spend nice. exercising. Because you don't want to feel like you have to work out for two to three hours. Uh, it's all about what you're doing in the gym and how you do it. In this case, your gym is your living room. Okay, we're almost done. Grab your backpack loaded with books and throw it on your back. I'm going to do a full squat. Hands on my head. I'm up. Knee to elbow. Squat. There you have it. There's a couple of exercises of how you can continue to chip at your goal. Uh, stay in shape. Get a good sweat sweat going. Get your heart rate elevated while you're at home. Yeah, I, I got the good sweat sweat going. That's for sure. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thomas says staying motivated is key during this stay at home order. Really start to get creative and, you know, understand what it is that you want to do and achieve within your fitness goal. Um, you can't lose sight of that just because we have um, the COVID-19 and coronavirus and, you know, going on right now. If anything, this should open light to make you want to live a more healthy, productive lifestyle, you know. And where else are you going to go? Not to mention you have all the time in the world. All right, so I posted the full workout, including some that you didn't see in that video and the number of reps on our website. That's also where you can find out how to get in touch with Trey Thomas. Now, Tahesha, it was a tough workout, and I forgot to record it the first time we went through it, so I actually had to do it twice this morning. Yeah, fortunately, Trey was awesome. He walked me through it again, but I think I'm going to be a little bit sore later. Yeah, I mean, that was already a tough workout just to watch and then to have to do it again twice. But I see what you did there, Maddie. You got your workout in and you got your work assignment done. Two birds, one stone. You know, I see what you did there. I just am trying to take a page out of Eric Chilton's book. You know, he finds a way to like eat and work at the same time. So I thought I might as well work out. You know, with, with him being out this week on vacation, I thought, yeah, I'll just, I'll embody Eric Chilton. Two birds, one stone.